In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your aquarium from looking like this to this in three easy steps. So in my opinion, there's only one reason to remove that top frame from your fish tank. And that is because you're doing an aquascape and you want some piece of that hardscape coming up above the water line and up out of the tank. And that's what I'm going to be doing with the tank. So I feared now was a great time to show you guys exactly how you can remove that frame from your fish tank. If you are going to be going and removing a frame from a fish tank, know that you can only do this with two and a half, five gallon, 10 gallon and 20 gallon tanks without actually adding some bracing on there. And don't just take my word for it. Go ahead and make sure you go back and do your own research and make sure as you're comfortable doing this. The tools you're gonna need for this project are a retractable razor, a razor scraper, nail polish remover, or acetone. The first step to this project is going to be removing this frame. And we're gonna start off by using our razor blade and just sliding it under the ledge, edge here of the frame. And this is going to release the silicone from the tank and ultimately, we're actually going to just start cutting through the top of this frame. Now, I'm not trying to save this frame. Uh, some people will try to save them and use a putty knife instead of a razor. But I find that trying to save it, you're actually more likely to damage the actual glass on the tank. And frames are cheap if you ever want to really replace it anyways. I don't think it's worth trying to save it because it just... Like I said, it does more damage than I think is worth it. But you're going to go ahead, you're going to make sure you cut all along the edge of this frame on the outside, and you're going to go ahead and do this around the entire tank. Once you have it cut all the way around, it is just a process of simply removing that outside edge. And that's the first part of removing this frame. Once we've completed cutting around the outside edge and removing that, the next step we're gonna do is basically repeat that process on the inside edge of the frame. And again, we're just gonna cut all the way around all the edges to break that silicone seal from the tank to the frame. Once you've completed that, you'll see that the frame is may actually be starting to come off of the lip of the glass there already. But if it's not, just gently, carefully making sure you don't cut yourself, take your razor blade and slide it across the top of that glass lip and underneath the frame. And it should release and lift off pretty easily. The second step, once we've completed removing the frame from the tank is to remove all of the excess silicone. And so we'll use our razor scraper here as well as our acetone, trying to get all the little bits of silicone off around the tank. As you can see, there is a lot of silicone that is in these tanks, uh, just holding that little bit of trim on there. And you're going to want to clean that up. So I like to use this, my Porter Cable battery powered shop. If you guys don't already own a shop vac, I highly recommend getting a battery operated one. They are so mobile and it's really nice to have. Once you've gotten the majority of that silicone out, you want to go back and use your acetone or nail polish remover and really start scrubbing again because you're still going to have some of that silicone there. And it's going to help just break that down so that you can get it out of there. And go back and forth between your silicone and your razor because you really want to have a nice clean look when you're done. Once 
Once you've removed all the silicone, you can take a closer look at the edge of your tank. And what you're gonna see is that these are not the smoothest looking pieces of glass at this point. They're going to have some edge issues. And so that's gonna bring us up to our third step in the process. I forgot to mention the beginning of the video, but you also are going to need some sandpaper. And I use 220 grit sandpaper here. You're gonna take that sandpaper and just gently go ahead and use it on the lip of that glass. That's gonna take away any rough spots that are there. It's gonna help it give a little bit of a nicer look, but our goal is not necessarily to make it look perfect as much as it is just to remove some of those sharp edges that might be there. Now that we have the rim removed and it all cleaned up, the next step is to set up our aquascape. And you guys can watch that right here.